P.O. P.O. coming in with this one from the uh, Patreon. Uh, he was asking about Volbeat. He says, I, I, I'm not, I don't know where you're kind of standing on the Volbeat sitch. Um, uh, I, I, I like Volbeat quite a bit. I do have tickets to go see Ghost and Volbeat um, this, in this new year. And we're getting into a song called The Garden's Tale from Volbeat. And I believe that I have heard this song before. I don't know a lot of the songs by name, but if I hear it, I go, oh yeah, um, but uh, I do like me quite a bit of, uh, of Volbeat. The first song that I ever heard from them that kind of made me sit up and go, oh, was called Soul Weeper. And when I heard that, I said, wow, that guy's got an amazing voice. And uh, this is some pretty good stuff. So we're going to get into the garden's tail for Pio, our friend Pio. Now, I will tell you, the only thing that a garden has to tell, a tale to tell from a garden, is if you've buried a body. If you've buried, if there's a, if, if there's human remains in that garden, there is a, uh, there's a story to be told. So we're going to see what happens with this. The uh, very, very kind of, um, I don't know what you want to, I don't know that you call it folky, uh, the Volbeat guys, uh, but we're going to get into this. The Garden Tale from Volbeat for P.O. Here we go. Channel Changer P.O. You know what that is? That's a channel changer. Uh, into the world. Looks like they're out in the wilderness or something, and he's going to sing his little heart out. What's his name? Polson? Jonathan Polson? Jason Polson? Jeremy Polson? Here we go. Bang. Yeah. Lift up the flowers in the garden. The rest of the guys just gonna stand around. Your angels bring her home. Oh yeah, who's this fella? He's got a bad tooth there. You might want to get that checked before it gets, it gets in the root. Oh, he's got a dead lady in his back seat. Oh, the hell Is he singing in Danish? These guys are from Copenhagen. Well, he's rushing into the hospital. Into the garden's tail. He's got a very powerful voice. Angelic, some would say. It's got a bit of a rockabilly feel to it. Rock and roll, rockabilly. He is really singing it, isn't he?
Yeah, he's going to take her out and bury her in the garden. I think his buddy helped him out there. A guy with a rotten tooth like that will help you bury a body, I'll tell you. I don't think there's the same dudes in the band anymore. I think the, there's a different guitar player. Did she come back to life? Yeah, he's just gonna, he's taking her out. To... Or maybe there's a healing tree out there. When two angry singing dudes uh, take a lady out and just kind of drop her in the woods like that, you know, you're kind of like, uh, um, do we really want to know what happened uh, that for her to end up in that situation? Do we really want to know? I don't know that we do. Uh, the prequel to that song would be something to behold. Uh, what say you? Most important part of my videos, as always, is where you get in the comments below and tell me exactly what you think of Volbeat, what you think of this song, and what do you think of the band overall. Have you ever seen them live? I have not. I'm going to see them for the very first time. I've heard that they're very exciting and explosive, fun, crazy, and, and just enjoyable live. And so I'm going to see them for the very first time here in this new year. Good, great, fantastic. Yes, Shane, I'm a massive fan of Volbeat. I'm going to tell you the top five reasons for that. I'm going to give you my top five favorite songs. I have full dissertation on everything that has to do with this band. Uh, I'm going to remind you that and in some other video you said they were from somewhere else. They are not. They are from Denmark. They are from Copenhagen, Denmark. So um, I, I, I am correcting that in this video. I don't know why I would have said that because I knew that they were from Denmark. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, you know, it is what it is. Um, what's your all-time favorite songs? And tell me about your ex the experience the first time you heard this band and the first time you saw them live. Or you could say, not good, not great. Shane, uh, voice is irritating to me. The music all kind of sounds the same. I, I do know a few people that say, I'm just not a huge fan. It all kind of sounds the same. And uh, his voice doesn't hit me in the in the goodie bags like it should. It does for me. I, I think he's got an amazingly beautiful, angelical kind of a voice. And he's a true heavy metal fan, too. He's worked with uh, Barney Greenway from Napalm Death and uh, Millie Petroza from Creator and stuff. He has them. Uh, they've done, I thought they did something with Tobias Fjorgensberg. And uh, they've had Lars Ulrich sit in on that live album that they released. Uh, not my cup of tea, Shane. I don't give a ding-dong damn about it. So I'm out of here. All of that can be put in the comments below. If you have a hard rock heavy metal special request and you'd like to see it on the channel, you go, yes. I definitely want to see my request on this channel. There's a few ways you can do that. Click one of them links in the description below and we can get it on for you in your honor. Or you can put it in the comments. If you put it in the comments and I see what you got going on there and I like it, then I'll hit it with a little heartsy and I'll tell you, hey, I'm going to do it for you, okay? That's all I got. Uh, swinging in for a big healthy kiss for P.O. Uh, yes, Volbeat. Mm.